What's up, Fixters? Welcome back to another Splatoon video. Today, uh, we are doing another Splatoon 2 Octo Canyon video. Uh, this time, we're going to do something a little different, however. Uh, it looks like on my recording of this video, uh, we kind of goofed up a little bit. I forgot to record my audio. I hit that audio button. So it didn't record um, my audio like I wanted to. So instead of doing like a live commentary, uh, this time around we're going to be doing uh, kind of after the fact uh, uh, video this time. So uh, just a little something different. Uh, this is actually going to give me some practice for my next upcoming videos that we're going to be doing here. Uh, instead of some live commentary, we're going to be doing some, you know, uh, some just commentary, just regular commentary, some of the videos uh, coming up soon. Um, so uh, we're gonna be just doing some talking over this video here as as you see the gameplay um, so just just bear with me here uh, this is actually my first time doing something like this um, where we're just commentating over the video um, so yeah anyways let's get started here uh, in this video uh, we're gonna be jumping over to um, uh, level 2 suction cup lookout uh, we finished up um, I think it was level four or five on my previous video. Um, so we're gonna actually, I think it's level five actually. Uh, yeah, I believe that's what it was. So we're gonna jump over to, um, I forgot what it's called, this is uh, Octo Park Stay on the Grind is actually the name of this level here. Um, it's actually a pretty fun level. It's got another Sheldon request in it. Um, so we're gonna get started here with that one. Uh, we also got the the roller this time, which is actually one of my least favorite weapons in this game. For some reason, I'm, I'm, I've never been a big fan uh, of the rollers in this level. Um, actually, it looks like I, I switched over to the doolies. There you go. I'm not a big fan of the rollers for some reason. I just never could really get into it. Um, they are kind of fun, though, because they do ink a lot of uh, a lot of areas as you're uh, in the multiplayer anyway. So it is to, to ink a lot of areas. Really, It really is a lot of fun. But I just can't get a hold of it. I can't really splat too many people with, with this weapon. Um, uh, so let's see here. Hero Dooleys. Yes, that's right. These are the hottest weapons in the game. And I know a lot of people in the multiplayer um, use this, this the Dooleys a lot. Uh, you can, Obviously, you can dodge, roll forward, backward, side to side um, as you're shooting. So the mobility with this weapon is, is pretty high. So that's another reason why people play with them. Uh, so let's see here. Uh, so you can dodge roll with this weapon. Uh, you can move around. People have less chance of splatting you, which is awesome. I love it. Uh, I don't really use dualies a lot. I use uh, the arrow spray MG, I believe, is what it is, a lot in the in the multiplayer. So uh, that's that's my uh, my gun of choice here. Uh, now back to the level here. Um, I really like this level. It was one of the one of my favorites ones so far. Uh, just the grinding and, and, and the different directions you move around this, this, this level was was lots of fun. Um, here's just a good example right here of just me just jumping over and, and, and you know jumping off the rails and into different areas of the map. Um, let's see, so don't forget to jump when you're riding the rails. It helps you jump to, to higher areas of the map here. Uh, you should be able to grab the squid rings as you ride the rail too. As you see there, I jumped over the squid ring. I didn't get to get it. And I'm, for some reason, trying to jump back and get it. So uh, let's uh, jump off here and just go through like you're supposed to. Um, time it right and jump through that ring. And I couldn't time it right. <laughs> so I just had to, I was like, I just, nah, forget it. I'm just going to keep moving. I'm not even going to worry about that squid ring. Uh, let's, so let's keep going here. Let's see here. Uh, a lot of checkpoints in this in this level, obviously, because there's a lot of chances for you to fall off. Uh, be careful not to fall off when jumping on winding rails like this, which I actually I think I did once or twice. I don't think I did too many, but um, so cool how they added the grinding. I wish there was some grinding maybe in the uh, in the multiplayer portion of it. Uh, a lot of missed opportunities like some of that and moving around the map and maybe making it bigger and moving around the map and stuff like that. Or maybe it just it might have just made it a little chaotic if you would have done it in the today. But I think it would have been cool. Just maybe just some short grinds here and there. You know, nothing, nothing excessive. I mean, you never know. Maybe uh, in the future they they'll add something like that. Who knows? I mean, there's a lot of things they can do in this game to improve it and all that good stuff. So we'll see what happens. Uh, let's see here. So I get get some armor in this part here. 
There's another rail that I grab right there. Um, I'm just looking, or it looks like I'm just looking around, looking for the um, the sunken scroll and the sardinium, which I do end up getting. Uh, when, when I get near to them, I, I'll I'll let you uh, let you guys know so you know where to find them. Obviously, you'll you'll see where I find them, but you'll, I'll just let you know kind of ahead of time so you you'll be on the luck out here. Here's one of the great examples of the grinding in this. Uh, I missed it there, there, but I hit, hit it at the end, so I had to backtrack a little bit. But that was a good example of uh, of the grinding that you can do. Uh, that looks um, really cool. I love it. I love this level because of that. See, here I am trying to get back to the top, and luckily I find a geyser thing that helps me back, get back up top. <clears throat> one of the one of my biggest tips, obviously, is to make sure you jump right before the end. There, there, there you go. Got it. There, almost fell off the map, actually. And actually, there's one of the, um, I believe it was a, yeah, it was just a regular uh, ticket there, but yeah. There's a, another checkpoint. And some more grind rails. I was actually checking out to make sure I didn't fall off here. Just to get these um, squid rings, you gotta actually just stay on it. We're still trying to get a hang of it at this point. Just going up and down there. There you go. Slops, fry him, Agent Four. <laughs> oh man, Murray is so funny in this. Um, those Octo Slops are crazy. That's the one thing I don't like with the duelies you see there. You, you, you uh, go through ink really fast, so it's important that you grab, you know, grab the ink as you're going through there. So let's see here on this next part here. Got a little confused. I wasn't sure which way to go. It looked like you can go like two different ways, but. I was making sure I wasn't missing anything. I thought I couldn't get over there, but I can actually uh, grind the rail back to this side and then come back around. Which I was like kind of confused, so that I missed that part right there. And then here's another way uh, to get around this guy, but for some reason I really wanted to, to kill him. And then that's where I actually fell off right there. Uh, I just hit that squid form a little too quickly and fell off the map. So yeah, got a little excited there. I wasn't I wasn't sure which way to go, so I just kind of got confused and fell off the map. But uh, here you'll see in this other in this other uh, attempt of mine, uh, you just kind of jump from this rail and then onto the next one, and then you just stay on this rail right here. You actually go over that guy, and then you can kind of backtrack and kill him if you need to, or splat him, should I say? So here's um, something slow is here, but no, so, yeah, there's some armor, and then you can kind of go back and get those squid rings and go around to the other side of the map. Uh, take this rail. You know, for some reason, I really wanted to backtrack and destroy that guy, but I don't know if I did or not. I think I did. See, I'm kind of stuck there. I wasn't sure which way to go. I was like, ah, I'll just keep going forward. I don't want to go back and <laughs> fall off the map, map like I did last time. So, um, I think coming up here is where you'll, where you'll find the... One of the... I think Sardinium or the Sunken Scroll. I'm not sure. I think it's the Sardinium to jump over. And it's on the left side. Oh, we're in the top. So keep to the left, the very, very left there. And then right underneath that tree, you see the sardine, and there it is right there. So on that part, just stay all the way to the left. Um, and just keep jumping to the left rail. And you'll run right into it. I got a checkpoint and keep moving here. I really admit, I really wanted to get those uh, those uh, salmon balls right there, whatever they're called. Orbs. Here's another cool part. Here's another long uh, gr uh, rail grind here. My tip is that obviously to get all the all the balloons so you can get those uh, the, the orbs there. Coming up here is actually where you're gonna get the sunken scroll. Uh, destroy all these uh, the octo guys here. You know, dodge and just destroy them all. It makes it easier to get the the um, the sunken scroll here. You shoot this rail there, and it'll take you all the way around. Now you'll see a point where you'll see the um, the crate on the left. Uh, just make sure you get ready to jump off and hit the crate. There it is, right there. Just make sure you hit that squid ring and then jump right there. And there is the sunken scroll. Obviously, once you do this, you can't really keep going, so you gotta um, kind of fall down and then make your way back up because uh, yeah, you're not gonna be able to get anywhere from there because you can't squid the wall to go up. So you got to have more fun and. <laughs> grind that rail one more time which I do right here 
Which I didn't have a problem with, because obviously I, I love the rails on this one, like I said before. So there's some more uh, Octo guys to splat. Make your way back to the beginning of that rail. And make your way back up. So after this, there shouldn't be much more um, to this level, except for just getting to the, the Zapfish. So as you're grinding, there's the, the kind of spot there you have to jump to to get to the checkpoint. And I believe it takes you all the way to the Zapfish, so that should be the end of the level, guys. So, uh, yeah. Pretty nice level, pretty short, but lots of fun. Um, one of my favorite levels. So, Octopark, stay on your grind. One of my favorite levels on, on this game so far. Lots of fun. Uh, so that completes level 5, everybody. The Octo Park, stay on your grind. Uh, we'll be back soon with uh, part 6 of my Splatoon video. Actually, part 7, because this is part 6. So uh, thank you so much for, for joining me. Actually, I think right here, uh, before I end, I believe I get something else here. Yeah, there's a, I got the Hero Duelies. Now I can use the Hero Duelies uh, in the campaign, or in the Octo. Octo Canyon, cool, and I get that ticket for uh, the Krusty Sean guy. There it is, I got one, two, three, four, five pages so far. So, yeah, pretty cool. Alright, everybody, I'll, I'll end it here. Uh, we'll be back with part seven of my Splatoon 2 walkthrough. Thank you so much. I uh, appreciate all the support that I've been getting on the channel lately, all the live streams and everything like that. So, uh, don't forget to smash that. Smash that like button, hit that subscribe button if you're new here. Uh, we'll be back soon with some more videos. Thank you so much, everybody. Fixers, you have a good day. We'll talk to you later. Peace out, everybody. Bye.